Another round of Meathead Mobility, working with Chris Duffin up here at his gym in Oregon. And uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit something different, not necessarily mobility, but talking about stability. This is one of Chris's uh, expertise. And it's actually gonna be able to give you some better range of motion because you're learning how to put things in the right position and create better muscle path. So Chris? Excellent, so this is uh, going on your channel. So I'm gonna go over some stuff that uh, You'll see, find a bunch of this on, on, on my channel, so yeah. it'll be repeat for any of uh, Chris Duffin viewers. And I'll have but, links in the description to find it. But uh, we're going to talk about some fundamentals. Where does it all come from? So we talked a little bit yesterday, but if we don't have either two things, you know, proper joint centration or core stability, our body starts downregulating. It starts reducing your firing patterns, making you not able to apply force. And... Um, it, we don't want that, obviously, we're performance athletes. But the reason your body's doing that is to actually protect you. Because if you're in those bad positions, it doesn't want you pushing in maximum load and injuring yourself. So it's a protective mechanism. This is why standing on a BOSU ball doing stuff is actually counterproductive because actually all it does is downregulate your body. Oh, so you can't like actually have progressive loading, right? Because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it seems like a great idea. Except for the science part. I was looking at maybe having a gym on a boat. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Just cruise around the ocean and you lift. Mm. So the foundation here, what we want to start with is realizing that uh, we've got our diaphragm in here. It's this cone-shaped muscle up here, kind of at the base here, the, the, the rib cage. And that has to be working in opposition to the pelvic floor. So a lot of people talk about core strength, core strength, and they think about developing abs, developing erectors, developing all this stuff. Core strength has nothing to do with the strength of that, but the quality of your, what's called intra-abdominal pressurization. So to achieve proper intra-abdominal pressurization, this has to be pointing this and if we get what's called an open scissors go ahead and raise your chest up boom see this is opened up this way so they're no longer facing each other so we can't have optimal position I'm like get in that position and, and, and punch me yeah yeah come on come on <laughs> <laughs> see, he's got no power it right. shuts off um, so what we want to do is draw that down into position and not we're not pushing it with these muscles we're actually drawing imagine a piston pulling that down okay and then once we do that, we're actually gonna breathe into the belly. There we go. Hey, he's an athlete, does a really good job breathing in here. Some people lose this and they breathe all in here. They have what's called vertical breathing, and we want horizontal breathing. It's out all the way around 360 degrees. So you can see his belly filling up, and I can press on it. And I'm gonna pick a couple spots. I'm gonna pick right here, and then I'm gonna put my thumb in his oblique here and make sure that this, there we go. He's got good oblique inflation. He's pushing the air out down here. And I imagine like this is a balloon so that when you're squatting, you're actually causing that to stop you at the bottom. Like let's push that physically out. It may not actually stop you right. in the squat, but that's, that's a good cue there. Boom, and we're in good position, we're drawn down. Another one that we can play with is I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna find, uh, quit breathing for a second. There we go, I'm gonna find the, the, the top rib about two or three inches apart and I'm gonna go right below it, right there. I'm gonna jab him with my fingers. Inflate right there. Good. It's that push up. Do it again. And that automatically cues a lot of this to happen. But also, I've got my finger in your mid back here. Right. So release for a second. Good. And again. You feel this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So anybody that's got like uh, fatiguing erectors, this is usually, I usually start with this for people. If they struggle, we may go to this, this cue. Or if they've got low, uh, Erector fatigue, a lot of pain, kind of in that upper mid back, will go directly to this as well because that'll help fix that. And then we'll just focus on this and the obliques. There we go. Boom. So that's the basis. We can test this in a couple different ways. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have you do what's called a, a dead bug, awesome. or a dying bug. So let's uh, lay on the floor. We'll come back for part two. If you enjoy the content and want to support the production of further content and also look like a badass, I suggest that you go to uh, kabukiwarrior.com and check out these nice whiskey and deadlift t-shirts. Additionally, we've got a number of products and new products that we're releasing that will help you perform better and move better from coaching products to products like the Shoulder Rock. So please check out kabukiwarrior.com.